even if you don't have a place to start, mm -hmm. I'll be 52 next year. Mm -hmm. And I just got it two years ago mm -hmm. that my past, what my mom did, what my grandmother did, those were things for them. Mm -hmm. I had to find out and decipher what was for Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because before that could be fire, hmm. the little girl in me had to be healed. Right. Yeah. Right. So not only are we dealing with the abuse as adult women, but a lot of us have little girls in us that are hurting. Oh, yeah. And we don't understand that at the age that that little girl got hurt, is when we mentally stopped growing. Yes. Mm -hmm. You stopped growing, so how can you be aware? How can you be aligned? Mm -hmm. You're aligned with that seven-year-old's mind. Right. That 11-year-old's mind. Mm -hmm. But you're in a 40-year-old body. Right. Or a 35-year-old yeah. body. Mm -hmm. Or a 50-year-old body. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. She had to point that out to me because I had to sit back and think, what? happened? Why did I have three unveiled marriages? Why was I unhappy? Why didn't I have good communication skills? Why was I always running? Seven-year-old sexual abuse. Stop growing. What do you do when you're a child? You run. You run everywhere. You run from everything. I had to learn that. Yeah. And it's always awesome to have a, a person with you that helps you be a better person. That's why I love how we have that sisterhood, that empowerment for other women. We want that for other women. They are not alone. You are not alone. No, I agree. And, you know, when I went to counseling, they gave me so many books. I remember one of them, and this might not have been where the technique was, but one of them was called The Courage to Heal. So I'm throwing that out there. But <laughs> there was a technique that they, um, they recommended in this book. Because I used to have flashbacks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used to have really bad flashbacks, mm -hmm. and I would forget where I was. Mm -hmm. And that's why I initially went into counseling, because mm -hmm. my flashbacks were tremendously bad. And the book said, when you're in the flashback, change one thing. Change okay. one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You know, so I would change one thing. And make it something, when you're changing it, make it something that's, making it less threatening. Mm -hmm. yes. And so the next time I had the flashback, that one thing would be there. And I would remember, I changed that. Mm -hmm. I, I yes. controlled that, that. redirecting. Yes. Right. And right. then like I would make him shrink. Mm -hmm. And then eventually he was small, like small <laughs> enough where I could kick him <laughs> right. you know, in my mind. Um, or I would, prov I would have somebody else intervene or I would be there as an adult saying, I'm here, I'm invisible, I can't help you, but you're not alone. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. And eventually, when I would have those flashbacks, it wouldn't even be terrifying anymore. It wouldn't even be paralyzing anymore. It would right. just be a journey. It would just it would just be a memory. Mm -hmm. It was a calmer right. memory. Yes. Okay, I remember that. And I remember that that's over mm -hmm. and I got past it mm -hmm. and I'm okay now. Right. And it was to that point. And, and so it was just changing one little thing at a time, one little thing at a time. And that was very helpful for me to realize that I don't have to relive this thing the way it happened right. and let it abuse me 24 mm -hmm. seven Mentally. for the oh, rest yes. of my life. Yes. Cause I can actually, <laughs> yeah, I can actually yeah. change it. And you know, mm -hmm. after I started doing that, I think it took maybe a couple of months I stopped having the flashbacks all together okay. and they went away. So that was very powerful for me. You know, that's what your imagination is a power thing, powerful is, thing. People is. don't understand that that's PTSD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's trauma. Because it's, it's trauma. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the mind is powerful. Your thoughts are your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Your <laughs> thoughts. Are your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And in your sub. Give the gift of lift. Lift people up. Lift people up so when they look at your, your shirt, they look at your mug, they get an inspiring message. They're lifted. Mm -hmm.